We begin our report with the flickering fortunes of that Texas immigration law. SB 4 allows Texas to arrest, jail, and prosecute migrants for crossing the border illegally. It passed in December. Then the Justice Department filed the lawsuit saying the state, against the state, saying immigration is a federal matter. Since then, courts at various levels have blocked and unblocked SB 4. That includes this past Tuesday when the Supreme Court allowed the law to take effect. But it was a short life. Eight hours later, an appeals court blocked it. CBS News correspondent Omar Villafranca has more from Dallas. Tonight, one of Texas Governor Greg Abbott's toughest border restriction policies is under scrutiny by the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. Judges decided to hear the case this morning after the Supreme Court temporarily allowed SB 4 to go into effect. Questions focus squarely on the merits of the law. Texas's Solicitor General seemed to struggle to defend the law's merit. So what if someone enters in, let's say, from Mexico into Arizona and lives there for five years, then moves to Texas, are they covered? I don't know the answer. Um, I could, I mean, I think that, you know, I, I, I'm reading the text, you know, maybe. Spencer Amder with the ACLU says SB4 is unconstitutional. Federal law has been clear that states have no business regulating who can come into the country and who has to leave. That is just the core of federal immigration power. While the court decides SB4's fate, Texas Governor Greg Abbott remained steadfast. Even without SB4, Texas has the legal authority to arrest people coming across the razor wire barriers on our border. Abbott's action of busing migrants to Democrat-run cities also suffered a minor setback in New York, where after being sued by the city, at least one bus company has agreed to stop busing migrants from Texas to New York. With the law in limbo, El Paso County Sheriff Commander Ryan Urutia added his deputies won't make SB4 a priority. We have a, about 270 police officers, and this issue could quickly exhaust those resources for our community. And Omar Villafranca joins us now. Uh, Omar, if SB4 is enacted, how do authorities in Texas plan on enforcing it if they don't have the resources? Well, one of the big questions that they have, John, is actually how to enforce it. They're still waiting from guidance and any training for the state. Uh, I've talked to sheriff and police departments, and they're telling me there's some nuance to this. Uh, they don't want this to lead to any sort of uh, racial profiling uh, while they're out there trying to enforce this. So this is something that they're waiting for some sort of training for and guidance from the state, from Governor Abbott and, and the Attorney General Ken Paxton. Uh, but you're right. There's no new task forces set up. There's no new uh, cars or anything like that. And one of the other big concerns they have is jail space. A lot of mm -hmm. them say that if they, if the sheriff has to arrest somebody and take a migrant to jail, they couldn't handle it. In Webb County, they told me if they got more than 20 migrants, it would be a problem with capacity at the jail. Wow. Twenty. the number 20 is obviously quite, quite small relative to the number coming in. In your piece, um, the governor said, mm -hmm. Texas Governor Greg Abbott said, even without SB 4, Texas still has the authority to arrest anyone who crosses the razor wire illegally. Do they have, does Texas have that authority? Well, and, and here's where it gets interesting. You may remember Shelby Park. You've heard us talk about it in Eagle Pass. That part has actually been taken over by DPS and the Texas National Guard, and they've actually kicked CBP out. And what they're basically saying there, a lot of, that's a spot where a lot of migrants cross. They are arresting them there for trespassing on basically state property right there. So that's one thing that, that Governor Abbott is talking about. But another thing in practice that is happening is that if there are uh, migrants who are caught, uh, suspected by Texas authorities as part of Operation Lone Star, a lot of times they are handed over to Customs and Border Patrol. And I even talked to sheriffs who said, if we come across somebody that, and we're not near any federal agents, um, what we do is we hold them, call CBP, and they'll come and get them. What makes SB4 different is that it would now be just a Texas issue. So Texas would be the arresting agency. State judges would be the ones who could order them out uh, and order them back to Mexico, even if they're not from there. Uh, and that's going to become a big point of issue because now Mexico is saying we're not going to take them. So a lot to hash out, a lot to work out. 
Yes, indeed. Omar Villafranca in Dallas. Thank you, Omar.